Hello everyone. So today I'm going to be talking about a new product that's out on the market by Karen Markers and that is their Deco Gel gel pen set. So there are three different types of gel pens. There's the metallic, star sparks, and milky way. So the milky way set comes with 10 gel pens and these are all a one millimeter nib size which i actually really like this is star sparks and this one comes with 20 gel pens and the star sparks has like little tiny uh, sparkle particles in them which i really enjoy and then the, this is the metallic set and there's 20 of these as well. So these Deco gel pens, it comes with this little insert that I will read to you. These can be used on bright and dark paper surfaces as well as paper coated with watercolor paints or watercolor markers like the Brush Marker Pro markers. And they're also applicable on glass, plastic, metal, and stone painted with acrylic paint or acrylic marker, like their pigment deco brush markers. The nib features, I'll show you guys, an easy gel outflow useful specifically in calligraphy and decorating. Let me see if it comes into focus. And the thickness of the line changes with pressure and writing speed. And there's improved writing fluidity compared to standard nibs. And I like that it has this nice grip right here. I also like that each of the pens have the color and the number on the barcode. That really helps. It's one of my pet peeves when you get a set of markers and they're not named markers or pens because then it's difficult when you're swatching to reference which marker is which. Also, the numbers are classified by the type. So the, let's see, the star sparks, the numbers are in the 100s and the Milky Way set, the numbers are in the 200s and then the metallic set, the numbers are in the 300s. So it, that's nice because it's easy to classify, you know, if you get them mixed up out of the cases, it'll be easy to know which one is which. Also, speaking about the cases, I really like the packaging. I know Karen Markers is good for having really nice packaging that you can keep your pens in and it looks really nice as well as it's really durable too so it makes for a nice pen holder or pen storage so these all have like a magnetic closure which is nice the only thing about this one is that sometimes i notice that these markers are these pens fall out a little bit easier. So just something to keep in mind. And these are also, these rims right here are also um, magnetic. So they stick together. It's a nice magnetic close. So I have not used these yet. So I'm going to swatch them all out so you can see. And I have um, white and black paper so you can see what they look like on both white and black. And then I also will be testing it out because it says you can utilize these over um, markers already or painted surfaces. So this is the, from the Brush Marker Pro and then this is from their Pigment Deco Brush Pen. So I'm gonna write on top and see how well they do there too. Okay, so I'm gonna go in order from category. Um, this is the Star Sparks collection and we will test them out.
Okay, so my first overall impression of them is that I really like how fluid the ink comes out. I have a lot of gel pens that I've used and I hate when the gel pens skip. And I noticed that with these ones, I hadn't used them yet. So when I first started, it took a little for the ink to come out, but once the ink started coming out, then there was no skipping after that. I was able to seamlessly write without having the skips of ink. And as you can see, there are little tiny sparkles in each of the colors. Also, the colors are really beautiful too. And then I'll show you here what it looks like. And this is just in natural daylight. I feel like I like the effect better actually on white paper versus black, although they do show up nicely on the black paper too. So that was the Star Sparks set. We will move on to, I'm just gonna go in order. We'll move on to the Milky Way set, which is in the 200s. Okay, so first impression of these is I like how bright these colors are. So this is their Milky Way set, um, more like pastel colors. And um, I always look for a good white pen and I feel like this one held up well to the test. I always like to see how well the white shows up on black paper. And I feel like it showed up really well. I did notice that these had a tendency to skip a little bit more than the Star Sparks one. And I don't know if that's just because it's my first time using them. But other than that, I really like the flow of the ink and the thickness of the lines. Like I said, it's the one millimeter nib size, but I, I think that some people might not like that because it's a little bit thicker, but I personally really like that size. So that's a positive. And lastly, we will talk about the metallic gel pens.
Okay, so my overall impression of these is that these ones did really well too. As far as skipping goes, not a lot of skipping. The color shows up really well. And I sh I'm sure I'm gonna get the question, like what's the difference between the metallic and the star spark? So I'll put them side by side so you can get a better look. And the biggest standout difference to me is that the star sparks, you can see the sparkle a little bit more. Whereas the metallic just have like a shiny sheen to them. Whereas the star sparks have little glitter flakes in them. Okay, so now let's test these out on, this is a swatch of the Brush Marker Pro, and then this is a swatch of the Pigment Brush Marker, which is like a um, acrylic paint. So we're gonna test out, let's do silver from the Star Sparks collection. I'm just gonna draw, just to see how well you can draw over it. Okay, that was the Star Sparks. And then let me do the Milky Way. I'll do white. And then I'll do silver again with the metallic ones. Okay, so with these, my first impression is, and I had a feeling that this would happen, because the Brush Marker Pro, they're water-based markers, that's the reason why the color is coming up a little bit and showing, whereas these are acrylic underneath, so it's not coming up. The color is not coming up when you're writing with the gel pen. So um, I would for sure, if I was gonna do like a background or something, I would use the acrylic markers, which is their pigment deco brush pens and then put the gel pens over the top because you can see that they show up so much better on that. And then also the color does pick up just a little bit with the Brush Marker Pro markers. Okay, let's also do a smear test too. So obviously they're gel based pens, so they're gonna smear right away, but I'm gonna do different lengths of time to see how long it takes to dry. So this one I'll do immediately, which obviously is gonna smear, it's a gel pen. I'll let this one go for about 30 seconds and this one for one minute. Okay, so after 30 seconds, there's a little bit of smearing. Okay, and then now after a minute, so there's still a little bit of smearing. Just a little bit. So let's also, again, just take a look at the pen casing. It's a plastic out outer shell, and then it has their branding right here. There's the nib. So these will hopefully be available within the next month. So right now we're mid-February, so hopefully by mid-March they'll be available. 
Okay, this was after two minutes. Okay, so that gives you a good reference point that after about two minutes is how long it takes for it to dry. And again, I was expecting some smearing here anyways because these are gel pens. It's not like they dry immediately since they are gel. So um, this just gives you a little reference. About two minutes is how long it takes before it dries and won't smear. So overall, I am super excited about these pens. Karen Markers always delivers a high quality product that lasts a long time. So that's why I know that these will in fact last a long time. And I like to come back with an update too after a while, when, once I've had them for a while and have been using them for a while. So I will continue to use them and I will make an update to see if I still really enjoy them or if there's anything that I don't enjoy about them. Overall, if you have any questions, um, you can ask down below. I will answer your questions to the best of my knowledge and um, I cannot wait. I hope that you guys can get your hands on some of these too because they are overall a really great product. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know and I will be happy to answer them.